One of the main questions that I've been hearing in Lockport, Palos, Tinley, Orland, and across the Southwest suburbs since I started this channel is Francisco. Is it still the right time for me to sell my home? So today, that's what we're gonna talk about. So stay tuned. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Living in the Chicago Southwest Suburbs. My name is Francisco Rios and I love making videos about things to do and places to go here in the Southwest Suburbs. However, by day, I'm a full-time realtor. So if there's anything that I can do to help you with your home buying or home selling needs, then make sure to reach out directly to my cell number, which is linked right here, yep, below the screen. And we'd love to help, that's what we're here for. But without further ado, we're gonna get into today's topic. Is it still a good time to sell a home as 2023 approaches? And I guess we can cut this video short because the answer is yes. It's still a great time to sell a home, especially here in the Chicago Southwest suburbs because we're still in a seller's market. Now a seller's market means that there is more buyer demand than there is homes for sale at the moment. Meaning that buyers are out there looking and they have very limited choices. Therefore, the homes that do go up for sale are selling at top dollar. Now, I know it's no secret, right? The real estate market was crazy in 2020 and 2021. We heard those stories about listings going up overpriced and selling above asking price with multiple offers within 30 minutes of listing the home and no showings. Those days are long gone just because the market is starting to stabilize as of the last few months. And there's a number of factors that are making the market stabilize. Number one is the one that everybody is shown. Interest rates. Yes, the rates did go up. They're currently at about 6% if I'm right. And it's still a great rate compared to rates that we've seen in the past. As a matter of fact, when we go back to 2019, pre-pandemic, we were sitting on the same kind of rate. So the rates did go up a little bit. And yes, that does weed out some buyers, but there's still a lot of demand and there's people that need to move. One of the other things that has impacted the housing market is that things are starting to go back to normal as we exit this pandemic. People are going back to work. The kids are back in school physically, no more online classes. And with everything going back to normal, so is the housing market. Typically, late summer into early fall, it's a slow time of year. It doesn't mean that it's a bad time to sell your home, but there's usually less activity because people are out on vacation, they're taking breaks with their kids, and they're just busy getting stuff done, enjoying the summer. That's kind of what we're seeing right now. So there's really no need to panic, at least not yet, because we're still in a seller's market. Now, with all of that said, if you want to sell your home for top dollar, it means that you're gonna have to put in some effort like sellers always have. During the pandemic, maybe you could have put up a home with bad iPhone photos, overpriced with limited showing availability, and it would sell. But today, as we approach 2023, it's important to have someone by your side that is not only gonna help you price your home where the market is at the moment, but they're gonna walk through the home, give you staging tips. If there's any small repairs that'll give you an advantage when entering the market, then maybe making a to-do list of small repairs is something that's important. And to be frank, there's sometimes when you can do bigger repairs and get significantly more money for your home. So more than ever, it's important to have someone by your side that knows what they're doing and that knows the local market. Now, interest rates are projected to keep going up. So if you wanna sell your home, I recommend doing it now. I know that they say winter time is a bad time to sell, but the matter of fact is that the people who put up their home for sale during winter time have less competition, and you know that the buyers that are making appointments are in need of a home. They're serious. They're approved and they're ready to go. So you avoid a lot of the fast-paced summer flow that we experience here in the Chicago suburbs. And one of the benefits of the market starting to level off is that if you need to sell your home to buy a new one, it's gonna be a lot easier to get a contingent offer itself. 
because there's less competition. I know that it would have been nice to overprice your home and get offers above asking price, but that came with its own set of headaches. And to be frank, if you chase the market, there's a good chance you're never gonna catch it. So my friends, thank you so much for watching. I've already been getting phone calls from YouTube and Facebook since I started this channel, and I really appreciate your trust and support. If you enjoy the content, then subscribe to the channel and share it with someone who might benefit from hearing this content. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys on the next one.